looking at Business Calculus with Excel, Chapter 2, Business Applications, Sections 2.1, Market Equilibrium Problem. In finding market equilibrium, we're, we recall that the law of supply says that a quantity supplied increases means a price increase. To get more people to want it, you need to decrease the prices. Market equilibrium occurs when the supply price equals the demand price. In looking at equilibrium problems, we're going to do three rounds of problems with increasing difficulties. Find the supply and the demand price when they're equal in a system. They're linear functions and we can solve them algebraically. Then do the same thing with goal seek, perhaps with problems that are a bit messier. And finally, given data for supply and demand, use trend lines to produce formulas and then use those formulas and intersect. The first round of problems look at linear functions, supply price and demand price. The supply price is a linear function. We assume it has a positive slope. The demand price has a negative slope. The two lines are going to cross. I want to find when they cross. The easiest way to do that is I set the supply price equal to the demand price. In this case, I get 10 plus 5q equals 1,000 minus 14q. Doing normal algebraic manipulations, I add 4q to both sides, and I subtract 10 from both sides, and so I get 9q is equal to 990q is equal to 110. That's the equilibrium quantity. The equilibrium price, I plug 110 into either the supply price or the demand price, and what I get is that the equilibrium price equals 10 plus 5 times 110, which equals 560. I could also have done 1,000 minus 440 to got, get 560. So we have a price, the equilibrium price, which is the supply price equals the demand price when the equilibrium quantity is 110. That was done algebraically without Excel. If I want to do it with goal seek, I come up with two functions, my two linear functions. Again, supply price has a positive slope, demand price has a negative slope. I want to look at my formulas. I've set up my formulas to be able to use them with Excel. I'm interested in the difference. I'd like to know when the difference is zero. Following my normal practice, I double up. I took a starting guess and said, I guess they're equal at Q equals 10. Not a particularly good guess, but it gets me started. Then I'm going to want to go and look at the data tab. Under the data tab, what if analysis, under that goal seek, I'd like D4 to be 0 by changing A4. And it computes it and says my equilibrium quantity is 130.57143. My equilibrium price, either the supply price or the demand price, is $334.14.286. So that lets me do it. If I've been given a formula, I can use goal seek to find where the two linear functions intersect. The more interesting problem is I'm not given a formula. I'm given quantities. For some cues, sometimes I have the supply price, sometimes I have the demand price. I'd like to come up with the lines and then find the point of intersection. We're going to do this like we did before. I'm going to want to insert a scatter plot. I have my scatter plot. If I look at it, I see that the data looks kind of linear but isn't quite linear. I'm going to insert a trend line.
I'd like it to be a linear trend line. I'd like to display the equation on the chart. I'm going to go to the home and make the font size larger so it's easier to see. I'm similarly going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add a trend line. I'd like it to be a linear trend line. I'd like to display the equation on the chart. I'd like to make it a size that I can easily read. And so now I have projected supply price and put projected demand price. And I'm simply going to copy these copy and paste it in and then I have to do the converting from Excel to mathematics the number followed by X I need explicit multiplication so times a4 and similarly I'm going to do the, de the demand price I'm going to take this and copy it then go here and try and paste in there we have it in. Once again, I'm going to convert from Excel, from math to Excel. X becomes times A4. My difference is going to be supply price minus demand price. I really don't care which one I have. I want to copy my formulas down. And when I look at it, my Two are going to equal somewhere higher than 1400. So I'm just going to guess 2000. That was too far. I want the difference to be zero. I'm going to do that with my data tab, what if analysis, goal seek. I'd like F12 to be zero by changing A12. And I find my equilibrium point is 1640 is my quantity and my price of $3,279.407. So again, the idea is I have a supply curve and a demand curve, and I want to know where they're going to intersect because that will be the market equilibrium. It's going to be a price that Everyone who wants to sell at that price has someone who wants to buy from them at that price. So no one goes home from the marketplace unhappy. Thank you.